and we're going to talk about the d upcoming Dutch Grand Prix. Uh, first, let's go over the Belgium Grand Prix. No, not really. Uh, Verstappen got the win. Russell got second. Hamilton got third. Ricardo got fourth. Vettel got fifth. Gasly got sixth. Akon seventh. Leclerc eighth. Latifi ninth. And Sainz tenth. Uh, obviously, this wasn't a race. There was no race at all. Uh, really shouldn't count. You can tell by the half points that something's up. Um, you know, I really want Russell to get um, the podium, but doesn't feel earned. And uh, any race where Mazepin has the fastest lap shouldn't count at all. So they should just wipe it. Uh, here's the driver standings. It didn't really have much of an effect on that, other than um, Ricardo pulling out ahead of Gasly a little bit. Um, Hamilton's still in first, Verstappen's still second, Norris third, uh, Botas fourth, Perez fifth, Sainz sixth, Leclerc seventh, Ricardo eighth, Gasly ninth, Akon tenth, Alonso eleventh. Vettel 12th, Sonoda 13th, Stroll 14th, uh, Russell 15th, Latifi 16th, Raikkonen 17th, Giovinazzi 18th, uh, Schumacher 19th, and Mazepin 20th. Both the bottom guys have zero points. Again, uh, race shouldn't count at all. Uh, again, it also didn't have much of an effect on the Constructors' Championships. Uh, Mercedes is still in first, followed by Red Bull, McLaren, Ferrari, Alpine, AlphaTauri, Aston Martin, Williams, Alfa Romeo, and Haas. Let's go up to, let's talk about the grid for the Dutch Grand Prix. Verstappen able to edge out Hamilton by three hundredths of a second. Very close, uh, Hamilton, uh, Verstappen fastest in the first two uh, sectors, and then Hamilton really turned on the third sector. Uh, should make it for a good race, but um, Verstappen's going to start P1, Hamilton P2. Uh, then you have Botas, Gasly P4, uh, Leclerc, and Sainz fifth and sixth. The Ferrari's fifth and sixth here. Um, Juvenazzi is going to be in seventh. Uh, good showing for the Alfa Romeo. Akans in eighth, Alonso's in ninth, and Ricardo's in tenth. Um, while this looks like this, uh, there is some controversy about the um, qualifying. Perez and Vettel both out in Q1, and uh, there was a big lineup, uh, lots of guys blocking them. Um, just bad qualifying. It wasn't really their fault per se. Uh, they were being held up. Uh, there's not going to be any penalties for the two Haas drivers who really caused a lot of the problems, especially with Vettel. Uh, Mazepin um, just got right in Vettel's way, blamed it on Schumacher, who was in front of uh, Mazepin, just garbage driving by the uh, two rookies. And here we go. This is the Dutch uh, Grand Prix. Haven't been here in over 30 years. I think they said 36 years since uh, Dutch Grand Prix has taken place here. And looks like a really fun course, um, but not a whole lot of passing options. So it's all going to come down to strategy. It'll be interesting to see if Perez can fight his way through the pack. I think he's starting 16th or 17th. And let's see if he can you know, make his way through the pack. He's got a lot of fast cars to get past. Um, you know, Verstappen up all on his own again. And next week, uh, we are racing again, the Italian Grand Prix. Now, when I think of, uh, this is going to be September 12th. When I think of Grand Prix, this is the track I think of. I know it's not a favorite of everyone, but uh, I really, this is the one I think of when I think of Grand Prix. Can't wait to watch it uh, next week. Be interesting to see what happens this week, what the championship's like. Uh, Verstappen, I think, is going to be on his own. Um, I don't think we're going to have much of a change from... The grid, I think Verstappen's going to win his hometown race. Uh, this is Verstappen's home race. Uh, Hamilton, I think, is going to get second, Botas third. I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of change there. I don't think uh, anyone's going to really challenge them, uh, especially with Gasly and the Ferraris behind them. So it'll be interesting to see. Um, Norris also had some issues with qualifying. So uh, I think there's just some issues that they got to work out with the qualifying. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Um, Perez did get an extension. He's signed in through uh, next year. I think I talked about this last one. Uh, interesting choice. He really hasn't shown up since the last, the first few races. He's kind of gone away. So, and 
Uh, interesting that they made the decision to stick with him. Um, there's talks about there's talks about um, Russell joining, uh, taking Botas' seat, but we'll see about what happens there. And uh, I guess the biggest news here is um, Kimi Raikkonen is retiring at the end of the season. Uh, there's rumors that Giovinazzi, who is not going to get another chance next year. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the Alfa Romeo. Uh, there's talks about them uh, dropping the Ferrari engine so uh, and going to Mercedes. It'll be interesting to see if they do that. Maybe they'll go over with the Renault engine. Um, see some changes going on here. It'll be interesting to see what happens next year, but we should have more information soon. It really seems like Russell's uh, really making a move for that Mercedes seat. But... Um, Really like to see Williams try to get back into it with the new owners and see if they can be the uh, great team that they once were. All right. Thanks for watching and enjoy the race.